millions of years, mankind lived just like the animals. Then, something happened that arrested the power of his mind. He learned to play football. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much indeed. Uh, now, can I... Sure, did I say something? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, can I just point out, we've got someone very special in the audience tonight, and I, I don't mean sitting up there with a the fat cat, you know, no. Uh, <laughs> someone who's, in fact, paid for this ticket, you know. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. No, someone who indeed is, is very, very special. Someone who's indeed a legend. Uh, someone who is and was and never shall be... Uh, Arguably, the greatest living Scottish player still alive. <laughs> and not yet dead. Uh, someone who had more skill in his big toe than some people have in the entire foot, you know. Uh, no, he really was. He was cool, he was, oh, he was, he was elegant and uh, he was deadly, you know, but... But now he's just a wee fat sight. Uh, <laughs> he is, he is. But, uh, but he's still a very good friend of mine. So please, a very big hand, please, for Mr. Bowie Shearer. Come on, Bowie, stand out there. Come on now. There we go. I'm terribly sorry, madam. Please forgive me. <laughs> I think I got away with it, I'm not sure. Uh, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, it's wonderful to be here. Wherever it is I am, you know. But, uh, come on, let's not beat about the shrubbery here. Let's not mince with our words. Scottish football, let me tell you, boy. <laughs> Scottish football, without wishing to sound too pessimistic and too negative, I mean, Scottish football is in one hell of a mess, you know. And, <laughs> No, it is. It's, it's sick. It's ill. It's got the terminal dry boke. And, uh, <laughs> well, it has, I'm sorry, but it has. And it, as football suffers, so do you. The life's blood of the game. The punters, the fans. The mugs with more money than sense, you know. <laughs> but if we had to make things better, if we had to make things better, we have to find a cure. Or start taking powerful hallucinogenic drugs, you know. <laughs> Maybe then we'll find answers to questions like, uh, if all the world is a football, is Scotland the bladder? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Scottish sports writers. You there, boys? Uh, <laughs> which ranger will be their player of the year this season, eh? <laughs> It's true, though, it's true, you know. And what about Fergus McCann, eh? We Fergus. Uh, yes. Is he there? No. Uh, did we Fergus actually buy Celtic for the good of the club? Or was it just so he could get a bird? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Well, you know, I mean... Eh, no, it's true. I mean, who's got the answers, eh? The Smithsonian Institute, or 
a menser, a, a sportsing. <laughs> Good evening, welcome to this very special edition of Sports Scene. <laughs> Coming to you live from Tillicutri. Um, now tonight we have a special report on the state of the game. Can we see it? No we can't. Um, can we? No, no. Um, well, uh, perhaps in that case, maybe the lawman could help us out. Dennis? What happened? Is Eamon Bannon getting his head waxed tonight? I don't know. <laughs> Dennis, it's good to see you. Yes, yes it is. <clears throat> <laughs> now, Dennis, justifiably or not, there's, there's an awful lot being said about the state of our game at the moment. Uh, and just to put things into perspective, and I'm sure our audience would love to hear your, your thoughts, how do you feel about Scotland's current international standing? Well, I have no thoughts. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I have no views. Uh... Only opinions. And I would say, I would say, you know, there are no easy teams at international level, apart from Scotland. <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> and I would say that any win must be viewed as a victory. Hmm. Um, yes, uh, of, the, uh, of the current crop of, of Scottish international players, who has impressed you, Dennis? The boy gigs. Yeah. Uh, that's good, eh? Yeah. Giggsy, yeah. He's fast, he's cool, he's deadly. He, he could be the new me, or, uh, or I could be the old him, or something. I don't know. And what about... Uh, what about the boy Collins, eh? Oh, the way he bends those free kicks in, you know? That's one thing you've got to say about Johnny Collins. He's a jammy wee bastard, you know? <laughs> and what about, uh, what about Bird Camp at the Arsenal? Not, not many people know this, but he was actually... He was actually named after me, you know? No, no, it's true. It's a, it's a little-known fact, but uh, Dennis is, in fact, Dutch for Dennis. <laughs> um, you've never tried management, Dennis? No, I, I've never tried management, but I, I have to say I really admire the young managers of today and the, the way they serve their apprenticeship with a, with a wee diddy team, like... Uh, <laughs> like... Uh, like Stevie Archibald at East Fife and, uh, and Roy Aiken at Aberdeen, you know? <laughs> Tell me, how do, how do you rate the Scottish media? I think the media in Scotland is, is, is very Scottish. <laughs> now, what do I mean by that? Uh, well, I haven't a clue. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, no, I, I, uh, you know, I think they're very conscientious. And I think they give a wide variety of opinions about Rangers. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, I mean, come on, the media, right? The media is all about characters. And, and in Scotland, well, well, you're loping with them, you know? Uh, people, well, people were like yourself, Dick. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, and Graham Spears of the Smart House and Sunday, you know? And, uh, Hey, and what about, what about Jim White, eh? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh no, come on now. Oh, Jimbo, come on. Oh, he's so smartly dressed in such distinctive blue blazers, you know? <laughs> With embroidered badges about here, you know? <laughs> Think it was a hand or something, huh? <laughs> I think it was red. <laughs> Turning to your own career, Dennis, you, uh, you scored a lot of goals. <laughs> I scored a lot of goals. 
So how did you feel when, uh, when Ian Rush finally broke that long-standing FA Cup goal-scoring record? I felt fine. Records are made to be broken, so well done, Rushy. <clears throat> <laughs> Now, Dennis, over the last 12 months or so, football's reputation has been dragged through the mire, dragged through the courts even, uh, thanks to those allegations of bribery, irregular payments, bungs, if you like. I wonder if at any time, Dennis, perhaps you were offered money to, to throw a game. No, I, I was never offered money to throw a game. Uh, but I was offered money to throw myself under a bus. Uh, <laughs> no, I, I was, uh, which was sad. But uh, that was in Torino, you know, uh, in Torino. <laughs> when things weren't going too well. Uh, and you know, I think it's very sad that if a young boy wishes to play Italian football, he has to go all the way to Italy, you know? I, I think that's sad, uh, I don't know. Finally, Dennis, um, how would you sum up the current state of football? How would I sum up the current state of football? In a word, I would sum up with this, the low man's creed. When a seagull, right? <laughs> uh, now listen, this is good, this, huh? <laughs> it is, I, I stole it. Uh, good boy, Zach. oh yes. Uh, when a seagull follows the trawler in search of sardines, then sometimes the seagull will shit on the fisherman's head. <laughs> Dennis, I, I think that says it all. It does? Oh, thank you very much. Thank you very much. much. Hey, hey.